Hey, Weeping Man Jewel for a Night by Joy comes in the morning. Here I am once again. My name is Busiso, and I come to you, KTSC of our spiritual parents, Pastor Strike and Pastor Joylin. And I hope I find you well this morning. And I hope you have already started the week and you are running and you are hectic and you are moving, you know, walls. I hope you are ready for what the Lord has for us in this day. And we are continuing on the subject that we started yesterday with a mini series that we call a, a call to me call to me and we are taking this from the book of jeremiah chapter 33 you know we're reading from verse 3 let us read that scripture it reads as follows call to me and i will answer you and tell you and even show you great and mighty things things which have been confined and hidden which you do not know and understand and cannot distinguish hallelujah this is the word of the lord father we thank you for your word that you have given us we thank you father god and lord that god the holy spirit is going to think through my mind and speak through my lips in the name that is above every name the name of jesus christ you know i thank my spiritual parents i really appreciate them for the opportunity that they've given not just me but they've given all of us in this time in this season to be encouraged to be the warriors that god destined for us to be before the foundations of this world you see Mzalwani, you are alive today you are standing today because you are a part you are part of an army a winning army not just an army that does not know where it's going but we're talking about a winning army we're talking about an army of you know more than conquerors we're talking about an army of the heads and not the tails we're talking about an army of people that are above not below we're talking about an army of people that know they are god and they are doing exploits we're talking about an army of people that are enlisted you know in the in in, in the king of God we're talking about an army that is washed by the blood of the lamb we're talking about an army that is seated at the right hand of the father to go together with uh, their Lord their leader their master who is our leader Jesus Christ I thank you Barcelona I hope I find you well I hope you are great I hope you are making those calls as we spoke yesterday we say hey pick up that phone make that phone call to our God make that phone call Mzalwane. make that phone call you know, people will tell you not to do so. People will tell you, like we spoke about Patamias, they will tell you to keep quiet. But I want to say to you, Mzalwane, you have a duty. You owe it to yourself, Mzalwane, to be exactly what God destined for you to be. You owe it to yourself, Mzalwane, to discover greatness that is in you. You owe it to yourself, my brother, my sister, to fulfill the scripture that you are more than a conqueror. You owe it to yourself, Mzalwane, because you are the heritage of the great king of kings the lord of lords who laid down his life for me and you that today we stand up and overcome the enemy you owe it to, to yourself from Zalwan to travel over serpents and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy but you will be able to do so by maintaining a communication with our god by maintaining communication with our lord you will be able to do so Zalwan when you keep that relationship and the word of god here says call to me and i will answer but you have to make that call um, Zalwan, for the answer to come you have to make that call um, Zalwan. you cannot sit down and say god does not care about me god is not concerned about me god favors other people i want to say to you Zalwan, you may say all these things but Zalwan, look in the mirror and see the cult culprit in the mirror and that culprit in Zalwan, is you because you are not making a call make Make that call make it fervently so though james says that pray with with ferventness a fervent prayer of a righteous person a violent man fervent meaning that it has to be a prayer that is not ceasing it has to be a call that is continuous it has to be a call that shows your dependence on god so Salona, I, I hope you are doing so i hope you are encouraged I hope you are angry with this shouting guy who comes early in the morning to come and make so much noise to come and shout at him Zalone, I am going to do so and I love it because you are watching I love it because you are looking at this guy and I want to say to you Zalone, in the book of Matthew chapter 9 and in verse 21 maybe let me read it I want to read it exactly as it is you know Matthew let's go to Matthew Matthew chapter 9 
Matthew chapter 9, and we are reading verse 21. I want to read verse 21. This is the passage of scripture. It is found in almost all the gospels. It is there in Mark, it's there in Luke, and I am reading here in, in the book of Matthew. And I'm reading from the Amplified Version. I want you, Mzalone, to listen carefully to this, uh, you know, verse, verse 21. The Bible says, for she had been saying, she had been saying to herself, if only I touch his outer robe, I will be healed. She told herself, she has been saying to herself, there had been a conversation. She had a conversation with herself to make this call. And Mzalwana, I want to say to you, this, this is a woman that was standing at a position that was not favorable from Mzalwana. But you, you have been given a way through Jesus Christ with which to speak to our Father. Yet Jesus Christ has made that way available for you. You have, you can only see, you can stand on your own and make that call. And here the woman says, you know what? I am talking to myself. And she had to, you know, to fight a lot of conversations in her head because conversations were saying to her, you cannot go there. You are already cast out of the community. You are already isolated from other people. You cannot get to the master. And the conversation continued to say that if you try to get there, let me say you live where you are. You have that. Take courage himself from this woman who had been struggling for 12 years, weak as she was, she made a decision that she chooses to live, she does not choose to die, she made a decision to say, I am not going to allow this situation to kill me, but I am going to the master, I am going to the creator, I am going to my master, I am going to call upon him. And then the woman comes, Jesus had been thronged by many people, she comes, she touches the hem of his garment, and Jesus turns around, feeling that power came out of him, feeling, you know, that there has been a call in my body, there has been a call around here, feeling that Jesus said, somebody touched me. And I want to say to him, Zalana, you can touch the Lord by faith. You can touch the Lord by trusting the Lord, my God, this morning. You can touch the Lord in Zalwanim by faith, by choosing to defy what you feel in Zalwanim. I know some of you, you are looking at illegal battles with your eyes. Some of you, you are looking at situations, you know, health situations with your eyes. Some of you, you are looking at where will be the next meal come from. I want to say to you, there is a redeemer, there is a savior, and his name is Jesus Christ. He is never late, he is never delayed. He needs you to make that call. Call upon him, and he will answer, and he will deliver you. He will show you the hidden things. He will show you answers. The widow never knew that she had an answer right in the house. The widow never knew that she had a million dollar business right in the house. The widow never knew. She didn't know until she called upon the master. Until she went to the prophet and said, Prophet, you are the servant of the most high God. What happens when a situation like this? And the prophet says, what is it that, that, that you have? And I want to say to you, Mzalwanim, he had the passage of scripture in Jeremiah, says that call unto me, I will answer, and I will show you hidden things. God it wants to show you things that some of them are within yourself. They are in your house. They are in your business. They are in your children. They are in your family. God wants to reveal those things, the things that the enemy doesn't want you to realize. I want to say to you, Mzalwane, it all centers around the call. It all centers around calling him, nothing else. Having the courage to stand against all odds, to stand against your body refusing, to stand against your account making so much noise with that negative sign, to stand and say, Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. For you to stand and defy. 
and go right there where your help is, Mzalwan. Because you see, Mzalwan, where your help is, your help is beyond all the challenges that are around you. But you need to make your way through the challenges. You need to make your way through the obstacles. Those obstacles that are crowding your mind. Those voices that are telling you you will never amount to anything. Those voices that are telling you that you do not qualify. Those are obstacles that are sticking around you. They do not want you to break through. They do not want you to cross over to the other side. Because to the other side there is greatness. To the other side there is wonderful things. To the other side the master is waiting. And I want to say to you, Mzalwane, it takes courage. Look at the courage, Mzalwane, of this woman. She says, you know what, I'm cast out. But I'm not going to die right here. I am going to make sure I meet with my master. And she said, the Bible says that she had been saved. This was a constant conversation. This was a, you know, a conscious decision that she made. She said, if I die, I die. She said, you know what? I am going to the master. I am going to the one that carries all the answers. I am going to the one that I know is going to liberate me. Just like Batamia. He said, I don't care what they say. I am going to the one that is going to open my eyes. When Jesus said, come, Batamia ran. I'm sure he ran people over. But he went on the direction of the voice of the master. I want to say to you, Salwane, Jesus says, come unto me. All that you know what, are heavy laden. Come unto me, all you who are loaded with difficulties. Come to him. But coming to him, call on him. You just need to make that call, Lord, Lord, to the Lord. The Lord is ready to answer your call. The Lord is ready to take you to the other side. Wow. God is good, Mzalwane. I hope you are encouraged. I hope you are strengthened, Mzalwane. I hope this morning you are revived. I want to say to Mzalwane, be provoked. Be angry, Mzalwane. Be angry, Mzalwane. Yeah, you know what? Decide to speak like Esther and say, if I die, I die. If I perish, I perish. But I am going to make it to my dream. I am going to make it to what I want to achieve. I will not allow the situation right now. I will not allow the verdict right now. But I am going to call upon the King of Kings, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. And I know He will come through for me. You need to make that decision. You need to fight this negative conversation in your head. Conversations that say there is more no life. There is no more life for you. Kill yourself. Conversations that say. Give up. You cannot win. I want to say to him, Zalora, you are a winner. God has made you a winner. You are an overcomer. God has made you an overcomer. But you need to stand up. This is a begging, Zalwane. Like I said yesterday, this is a begging not for the faint-hearted. We are in an army. We are in a battle. The Bible says, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. The devil has been thrown there. I want to say to you, Salon, we are the inhabitants. We are the people that have been set to rule right here. But we need to stand up and know who we are. And we know where our source is. And our source is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But you need to call up on your source. You need to know who your source is. And you need to call on your source. And you need to go back to your maker. You need to go back to the one who created you. You need to take this system. You need to take this vehicle to the authorized service provider that must service this vehicle. And the authorized service provider is our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you are provoked, Mzalwane. You better be angry. You better be angry, Mzalwane. You better be angry. You better be provoked, Mzalwane, to rise up. You know, this crisis, this economic crisis, it's a ripe ground for a child of God. It's a ripe ground for a child of God for you to realize who you are and bring about change in the, in the, in the community and bring about change in your family. This is our time. This is our time, Mzalwa. The time that God has prepared for us. This is our time, Mzalwa. And I hope you have been blessed this morning. I hope you are angry this morning. I hope you are provoked this morning. I hope you are ready to run. Life is a race. I hope you are ready to be in this race. Whether you are limping, you run, Mzalwan. You run. When you come to a point where you can't run, you walk. When you come to a point, Mzalwan, where now walking seems impossible, crawl, Mzalwan. Crawl your way to the top. Crawl your way to your answer. Crawl your way, Mzalwan. You know the widow. Sorry, not the widow. The lady with the issue of blood. Started off, I believe, running. 
go to a time because her body was worn out, she started walking. But when she got to the multitude, she could not walk anymore. She said, I am going to crawl to the master. I am going to crawl to the master. Why is he making noise? I am going to touch the hem of his garment. Mzalwa, you deserve to be at the top. Me too at the top, Mzalwa, because that is where you belong. Because greatness is in you. Because Jesus is great. And you are of God. And you have overcome the evil. I hope you are blessed this morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. My God, when we look at and understand, my Father, the courage of the woman with the issue of blood, we realize, my Father, my God, that we just have to make a call. We just have to make a decision, Lord, to make our way to you, O Lord. We thank you, Father, for your word. We thank you for your encouragement. And mighty God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters that have been provoked this morning. And my dear God, I thank you that we are rising and rising and rising. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my sister. Meet you at the top. Down here is crowded. At the top is where you belong. God bless you. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.